I will be taking over from uh, the head of the department and I am far less prestigious not only than the head of the department than the rest of the speakers actually who will be here but I will try to persuade you that there's in spite of all of that a good reason for me to be here. Right? So the reason is certainly not my expertise in taxation which is non-existent so it has absolutely nothing to do with that but it has to do with the fact that Eduardo is very generous to his friends. So in a sense is this my presence here I think is a tribute to our friendship in the past uh, seven years since I arrived at LSE back in September 2010 and it's in this context actually that I have seen and I've been proud to see actually uh, this book grow in Eduardo's mind and progressively move on to become well a monumental work that I am very proud to see published and in that sense uh, congratulations um, congratulations for this incredible achievement and for having gathered such, a, such an incredible team of uh, contributors and today this incredible team of speakers, right? So then I don't want to carry on for very long because I don't have much to say in taxation, but I think it would make sense to say a word of what I have learned from Eduardo in the past seven years and what I think would be of relevance for any LLM students or for any academic working even beyond the area of taxation. So I think one of the things that I have admired in Eduardo's work in this um, in this past few years and what I have seen reflected in this book I think is first of all the intellectual honesty that I have seen over the years so then there were immense methodological challenges that we have been discussing we were running around uh, or along the river and I don't think Eduardo has ever escaped any of these challenges I think you have always taken over them and you have thought about them and occasionally you fear them, but you never shy away from them. And I think this is something much uh, to be admired in any contribution. Because I think, well, you take up upon yourself, I think, an immense task. You've been working very long um, nights and very often, but I think you never actually escaped any of that. So that's one aspect that I think is, uh, has always been a lesson for me. So something else that I think is important to emphasize is this sense of relevance of the work. So I think. This is actually something that is part also of the culture of LSE, and I think one of the reasons why I'm proud to be here is that research is never a clever game played among intellectuals. It's something that is done to make a difference in the real world, and I think this is very much reflected in this work in so far as you have brought together people involved actively in taxation, and you have uh, worked together with them actually to make a difference. And I think this is actually a distinctive aspect of the LSE coming back to what the head of the department was mentioning. I think this is something, again, that I admire and I try to do as well in my work. And the final point I would mention, actually, is something that you see in this huge piece of paper, I think is the fact that you understand, and this is something that I try to tell myself very often, that proper research is comprehensive. So then I think back, I mean, we, I think we're moving away from the days where lawyers would pick the cases that favor their thesis in order to advance a claim, you have tried to cover absolutely everything. So it's a daunting task, but I think it's the appropriate way to do things. And it's, it's always been an inspiration, and I think the book that I'm hoping to publish at some point next year, and I'm hoping to have you, uh, Eduardo, and some other people uh, next year presenting it, well, it's, it tries to follow that very path. So then, in that sense, for the inspiration. So then I will step back now. Uh, over to you, Maestro. Congratulations again. I look forward to your presentation. Thanks very much.